I am so excited right now. Bungie just introduced the gun that I've been begging for throughout the last several years. Dead Man's Tail is a new 120 RPM lever action scout rifle made by my favorite weapon manufacturer in Destiny, Tex Mechanica. They are the same company that designed guns like The Last Word, The Chaperone, The Huckleberry, The Fourth Horseman, The Prospector, and The First Curse from Destiny 1. Without a doubt, these are some of the most stylish guns in the Destiny franchise, and today we have the newest entry in the lineup, The Dead Man's Tail. In my first few games of PvP with the Scout Rifle, I was instantly in love with it, and I think it's clearly one of the best PvP Scout Rifles in the history of Destiny. The exotic perk is Cranial Spike. Chaining precision hits grants bonus damage and quickens the reload speed. Let's cover the precision damage bonus first, and then I'll talk about some of the reload and other useful stats. The first bullet does 81 damage, and then it ramps up to 84, 87, 91, and caps out at 97 damage per headshot at 5 stacks. Body shot damage also ramps up depending on the number of stacks from 46 base to 48, 50, 52, 54, and caps out at 56. There are a number of relevant interactions with the resilience tier of your opponent. It seems that 5 resilience is able to survive 2 headshots when you have 3 stacks of the buff before shooting, and 7 resilience is able to survive a 2 tap even at 5 stacks of the buff. However, if you're standing in an empowering rift, or have high energy fire or the whisper of hedron's damage buff, it's a 2 tap with headshots to any resilience level even at 0 stacks, which is pretty crazy. The perk lasts about 4.5 seconds before it falls off, and you can keep the timer going by landing additional critical shots. As far as the reload goes, it ramps up depending on how many stacks you have, allowing you to go on some pretty crazy sprees with it. The increase from base reload to 5 stacks is actually very noticeable. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the different animations. It also comes with the intrinsic dual loader perk, which loads two bullets at once to speed up the reload, and you can cancel a reload early by either sprinting or shooting and still have a partially reloaded magazine. Just like Hawkmoon, Dead Man's Tail is another exotic weapon that now comes with random rolls. Your first drop will have Fluted Barrel, Accurize Rounds, a missing perk slot, and then Hand Laid Stock. Then you can repeat the mission to get a drop with a random roll. I think after testing it a bit, I'd prefer to have a fairly high stability roll since range is extremely good by default. In testing my roll with Full Bore and Accurize Rounds, we found that the damage drop off started somewhere around 81 meters, which is absurd. I think I'd sacrifice a little bit of range for stability on this gun, and my god roll would probably look something like Small Bore, Ricochet Rounds, Moving Target, and Hand Light Stock. I'm really excited to try a few different rolls of this gun to see how they all feel. As of the making of this video, we don't yet have access to the Catalyst, but some data miners have indicated that it may be a buff to hipfire accuracy, which I actually think would be a huge benefit on this weapon. In my playtesting so far, I found that it feels awesome at medium range to shoot, but as soon as someone does push up on you, that 18 zoom set makes it feel a little bit hard to duel in close quarters while you're ADS, and I've often resorted to hipfiring the gun instead. If the Catalyst truly does buff the hipfire performance, I think I'm going to really enjoy hipfiring this gun, because it already feels pretty decent to hipfire even without the Catalyst. Overall, I'm having a blast using this thing, and I'm so happy that we finally have a good lever action rifle in the game. If you haven't picked it up for yourself yet, it's actually pretty easy to acquire. All you need to do is start up the Nightfall, and go into a special room that's normally blocked off, kill a big yellow bar boss enemy, and then go to Zavala in the tower, and he'll tell you to go to a special mission that you can now pick on the Tangled Shore. This mission is truly a masterpiece by Bungie. It's one of the coolest, if not the coolest, secret mission that they've ever created. I would definitely put it at least on par with the Whisper of the Worm and the Zero Hour missions when it comes to the fun level of first figuring out how it all works. I'll leave you with some PvP clips of the Scott Rifle in action. That's all for now, catch you guys next time.
seed loss. Sure on. 